I am making a Roblox Tycoon, and you can too. So, I've already just stayed away from the Tycoon crowd, even when I was younger, but today is a bit different, because today, that all changes. So, sit back, relax, launch your studio, and let's make a Tycoon. So, we're going to be using Sephiros' kit, not by, by me, um, the link to his original video is down below if you want to see that, but I put this for ease in my Discord server, just head to the resources tab, go down and press on the Tycoon RBXM, then just drag and drop that into studio. Okay, so here is your Tycoon and it is looking fantastic, as you can see everything is there and good, you just want to now go ahead and position it to however you feel like it, as you can see we've got owner only doors and those buttons and stuff, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's test this Tycoon. Okay, as you see when we join in, everything seems very nice and good looking. We have our own uh, team, which is fantastic, and we have our name on our tycoon. Um, we can get ourselves a manual dropper, which is perfect. And yeah, we want to the process here, so I want to grab myself an auto clicker and let's get clicking. When this is done, we can head over and claim our money. And there we go. We have all these things we can buy. So I'm going to go and buy a dropper, which does it itself. And that is pretty much our tycoon. First things first, we're going to go ahead and look inside our tycoon and change a few settings. So as you can see, here is the main tycoon area. But we're going to look at first in the settings and check out this audio. Because audio has had a big update in robots recently. So we're going to copy and paste this audio file while the text here. And with that done, head over to this little audio tab and go ahead and add your file in and then just name whatever you like and then press this upload button here. Then you want to go ahead and press on that file, the ID again, grab that and go and put it into your studio file. Now feel free to do whatever you like in this place, um, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, here we are in our tycoon. Now I'm going to be teaching you now how to go ahead and create your very own button. So for example, just like one of these here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into this buttons here and we're going to go ahead and duplicate one of these now i want to duplicate this one for example um there we go and we're going to do is we're going to go drag that into our position whichever one we like now i'm going to put it right over here now when that position is done we can go ahead and rename this to whatever we feel like now i'm going to name it to a classic sword because well that is the idea which i'm going to be doing i'm going to be giving a weapon tycoon here so call this classic sword obviously i can't spell here um, there we go, finish naming that, so for example the price here um, will be whatever you want to sell it for, this will be in the cash, the object here is which object it's connected to and the dependency means pretty much you have to have something there already for it to exist, so for example this click dropper has to exist before that button will appear, pretty much just like every other tycoon game. Okay so now I've actually created my object here, so this is the object which I would like to appear when you buy it, so name it classic sword and all I've done here is made this small little script and in server storage I've stored the classic sword, but yeah I've made this small little script which is just making a proximity prompt, pretty much allowing you to collect the item which is just exactly what you need here and it closes into the backpack here, so yeah this is the object which I want to appear when you buy it, so I've called it classic sword and I'm going to drag that into the purchaser's little model here okay now what that means is it's part of the things you can buy so I'm going to drag this and I mean you don't have to but of course you probably should put it right next to your little classic sword here and you can do whatever you like with this now you can fit anything in this model you know it could be a morph or pretty much anything this is the beauty of a tycoon there we go okay so that works very nicely now what we're going to do is make sure this is all okay and it's inside the purchase place we can go back into the buttons the classic sword area where is it uh, i believe it's right at the top here uh, we can change the object here to the exact name of that thing so it's going to appear with that name so we're going to call this classic sword let's see if i can get it right okay i can't all right there we go so classic sword perfect and it relates to the classic sword in here now let's go ahead and see if that works as you see it goes green press it and there we go look we can press f to take the tool just as the really prompt and there we go we have ourselves a classic sword and that is how you create the button okay so now i'm going to teach you guys how to make a game pass it's really quite simple all we're going to do is we're going to head over to our uh random thing we're going to do for example uh the uh conveyor walls here and we're going to go ahead and duplicate this button okay so we're going to put this wherever we like i'm just going to put it 
over here because it's convenient. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rename this to uh, Buy Game Pass. I'm going to call this Buy Gun Game Pass, okay? Okay, so when that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the price book because there's no need for a price on this. Instead, we're going to add a int value in and this is going to be called Game Pass. Inside here, we have a value. Now, what we're going to do for now, I want to make sure the uh, dependency keeps us that. We're going to make an object. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate the classic sword here. Go ahead, spin this round just like this and put that right there. And instead of it duplicating something, I'm going to go ahead and grab a gun. It's probably just chilling here. Here we go. Yep, we can get this guy and we're going to put him inside of the server storage. We're going to copy is a little thing I already have one in there. Um, and then we're gonna change the, our second classic sword here, we're gonna change this uh, handgun. Uh, if I can spell, which unfortunately I can't. So handgun. In here we're gonna change the proximity prompt to handgun. There we go, that should work very nicely. And there we go, we now gives us the handgun. But what we're gonna do, to show you guys how to actually go ahead and let's get this again and put the object as hang on but i'm going to show you guys how to actually get this game pass okay okay so we're going to head our experiences okay i'm just using this random one here and we're going to go to uh create a pass now obviously your thing has to be you know created and stuff so what we need to do is we're just going to call this gun and we can just say uh gives you a gun just like that and find an image, I'm just going to use a random image, uh, probably which I downloaded in the past. This guy right here, don't know why he's here. We're going to go preview. Oh, alright, there we go. Uh, oops. I'm going to use weapon, just like this. I obviously can't use that. Let's find another image. Okay, we've got this cool logo of thing I've been making. Let's see if this is previewed. Verify the upload. And there we go, we can now click on this. Go ahead and copy this ID from here. And then here in the game pass area in the in value, you just want to paste in the ID. Let me go ahead and test this and show you how this works. Okay, as you can see, you can press on this and what it'll say is items not currently for sale because I haven't actually set the game pass for sale. But let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I've made it for sale now. So as you can see, we can hover over this and it will say uh, buy item. And here I have the price. It's a test purchase, of course. You can press it. As you can see, it's succeeded. So what you will need to do is just leave and rejoin. And what that will do is it will fix itself. So okay, yeah. for our final part, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make more tycoons because it's quite simple. So we're just going to duplicate this and drag it to wherever we like it to be it's up to you guys completely and when that is in position we can go ahead and delete the spawn point spawn point because it's not needed and we can rename this to whatever we please so i'm going to call it really blue tycoon because that's a different color and a different team color okay so we're then going to go ahead and go into the tycoon info go to the team color here and change this to wherever really blue is now i can't remember which one is oh there we go second try and yeah, that is pretty much all it is. That's all we need to work out because that is pretty much added another tycoon. If we go ahead and join here, we can go and have a look over here because as you see, we don't own it. It's already assigned us this team. And yeah, that is really, really good. We have our tycoon up and running. And that, everybody, is that for this video. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.